After we go into settings and go to device options, press about fire tablet and press the serial number about seven times. And then once you're done, go to developers options and make sure it's enabled. And then you're gonna look for USB debugging and enable it. Then go to USB configuration, default USB configuration, and then change it to file transfer. Make sure to check all three of these options right here. Go to the host tab and check those options right there. And then you're gonna press the plus button and then name your host Amazon block list or whatever you want. And then once you're done, press the paperclip icon and go to where you downloaded your block list. I'll leave a link in the description. So when you find it, just press it to me. And then it will create it. And then you press the check mark at the bottom. And then you'll see it to me, that you've created it. Then you go to the next tab. And then you turn on system apps. And then you press the gear icon and press no apps which means all the apps will be turned off. So, then you go to use the custom DNS server, the and then three you enable cloud things on the top right there, and then, you're done. and then you press settings, and then you press privileges, and then press access age-restricted features, access storage, device location reporting, access local network, change system to play settings, limit number of running processes and then you also have to enable modify secure system settings and then you're gonna want to enable modify system settings modify private settings access notifications and do not disturb settings those are the settings you want to enable so the app blocker will work so open whatever terminal you have or PowerShell and paste the first command and press enter and then go back into the notes or I'll leave it in the description so you can copy and paste it and then you just put the second one and then just press enter again and then you get the third line and then press enter and it will let you have the ad blocker Press more flows, and then press start, and then you're, it's going to ask you to install one more thing from the Automate, just install it, and then it will work, and I also forgot to say that it will ask you for a date of birth, because it's going to do a lot of features. And also grant the permissions when you press start. And once you're done with that, just search up Amazon and click the first result, which will be Amazon Ad Blocker ADB required.